So, the actress Gabrielle Union, I know, Wake Up Sexy Monkey, Hot Black Chick, right? Uh, who was in such films as Bring It On and Bring It On. I'm sure she was in other things, I just don't remember right now. Uh, was apparently on America's Got Talent. A horrible show that was imported from Europe. We still hate you guys for that. Why? Why? Why give us that crap show? Garbage. America's Got Talent. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Have you seen that? Hopping poodles, fat women in uh, bikinis doing pole dances, you know, little kids singing songs and uh, looking lost and then, you know, playing a cello or something like that. That's not talent. I want to see real talent. I want to see, you know, a 22, 24-year-old girl come out there, put a ping pong ball in a certain place and shoot it into Simon Cowell's mouth from a far distance. That's America's Got Talent. That's what I would pay to see right now. It'd be great. Um, you know, I want to see a guy come out, tie his genitals to, um, you know, Howie Mandel's finger because he's all phobic about everything like that, and then proceed to cut them off and surgically reattach them live and not pass out. America's Got Talent. That's talent right there. But, okay. So this show's been on forever, and I guess it's been on forever, and, you know, it's just a garbage crap show nobody watches anyway. But Gabriel Union somehow got on there to judge on America's Got Talent. Okay, now, from what I understand of America's Got Talent, it's basically singing, magicians, all this other stuff. She's an actress. I don't exactly... It was like Heidi Klum. Is she still on the show? With her vacant eyes and her anorexic self? I mean, she's starving. Give her something to eat. I mean, she can judge, you know, bulimia. We can do that. Like, America's Next Top Bulimic. You are just the best bulimic ever. I I, I support you. I, I think you're 100% right. You know how to do the finger-down-the-mouth vomit trick like I learned when I was 12 modeling. No, who, who gives a shit? Simon Cowell and his big bloated ass and he's more Botox than ever. Does he have permanent eyeliner on? Has anybody noticed his eyes like now? It's like, he's like, he's like a permanent eyeliner. Does he know he's like 60 or something? He keeps wearing those open shirts like, ooh, ooh, yes, daddy. Yes, please. That's hot. Ooh, sexy, sexy. No, it's not. That's old man shit. Don't do that. That's not nice. Because remember we also the guy at the pool, you know, the hairy guy, the fucking... You know, it's top open or he's just laying out there all proud. The guy, I look good today. It's like, no, you just look sweaty and disgusting. And I want you, oh, God, don't even go in the same pool as me. You gross me out. He's one of them type. And his teeth are fucking whiter than white. I mean, they're like, um, they're not even really white. They're like a new found, new discovered shade of white. They blind you if you look at them. He looks like Bugs Bunny. He's a Bugs Bunny with like, you know, girly eyeliner on. And he's so, bo he's like this now, isn't he? He can't blink to save his life. Yeah, I think that was the most bloody awful thing I've ever seen, and I have to wait. Okay, God blink. We'll make my. Uh, we need to take a break so I can blink. We need to take one. I'm just so full of you know, uh, rattlesnake poison or whatever this is in my face. Did he have a facelift too? I can never tell, but he's one of them. So Gabrielle Union gets on there, and she's whatever. I guess she's qualified to judge. You know, uh, dyslexic children trying to read. Uh, you know, a foreign language. Who I don't even know what they do anymore. You know, an 89-year-old woman uh, in a brazier, you know, skipping rope. <laughs> Fucking who cares anymore? I couldn't name you one winner of it. I could name you one. Now, I don't know if she was a winner or not because my mom used to watch that show. And I kept seeing that little Grace Vunderhosen, what her name was. Like, she kept singing some song. You know, great singer. Like, I don't know my name. I don't go by the rules of the game. You sing well, you need a new songwriter. You don't know your name. That means you're, you have Alzheimer's and you're a little young to have it. I mean, you, she was cute. She was adorable. Annoying as hell. Sometimes I want to take the bow with the violin that she was, you know, playing and just kind of smack her with it to see her cry. That's me. I'm an evil person. I get it. But Gabrielle Union got fired. She was fired from America's Got Talent. Big brouhaha. She got fired. Like, ooh, oh God, something horrible happened because she reported the toxic workplace. Here's some of the allegations and here's what I agree with and here's what I don't agree with from Miss Union. First off, you're rich already, Right. It's a big fucking deal. You got fired from a crappy, you know, talent show. Like, man, who cares? Really? I mean, you know, go get another job. You, you, you're a hot chick. You can act. You're fine. You're fine. You're like, don't make this a thing. Seriously. A toxic work environment. Apparently, Jay Leno and his big chin was there, maybe guest hosting or something. I don't watch the show. I don't know. And he made a comment about a picture Simon Cowell had, maybe of a dog or something like that. And um, what he said was, yeah, that looks like something that could end up on a Korean menu. You know, considering Koreans eat dogs or something like that. A stupid joke. Kind of funny. But she was offended. That was a racist stereotype and that was horrible to do to people. She's one of those chicks I would never get along with then. Like, you, sometimes you need to let the shit go. 
if it's a joke and it's funny, it's funny. White jokes, black jokes, Asian jokes, uh, Hispanic jokes, they're funny. It doesn't mean you're a racist. It doesn't mean you're a horrible person. So for that one, I say, fucker, seriously. I mean, get the get a smile, get over it. Shut the fuck up about it. Don't cry about it. There are people starving. There are people struggling to make ends meet and stuff like that. And you're worried about a bad joke that somebody said just because you didn't like it and it hurt your feelings. Shut up. You don't have to like everything. You just say, I didn't like to hear that joke. Well, you know, whatever. He's a dick or something like that. Dick can be funny at times. It doesn't mean he's a horrible person or racist, so she felt uncomfortable. Now, here's where I do agree with her. Apparently, she was getting notes that her hair was too African-American. She's African-American. I would understand if there was a blonde girl on there, you know, all of a sudden, I don't know, you know, you know wearing Bo Derek dreadlocks and putting them all like what they would think Ratchet would be or something like that. I'd be like, I can see Acting, I, I, no, my note to her would be like, you are severely mentally ill and need not be on the show anymore if some white chick did that. She's too, her hairstyle's too black. What the fuck did they want her to do? They wanted to get like some straight Barbie doll weave or something like that? They criticized her for that one. And I guess she just, uh, maybe she had, I'm guessing some problems with the co-host, Simon Cal, who, by the way, other people have had problems with. Seems like a nice guy. I mean, when he's not, you know, belittling people who, you know, have at least some talent. He doesn't have a modicum of talent. I mean, what can he do other than sit there? I, I thought that was bloody terrible. I think you're bloody terrible. What the fuck do you do? How did you get where you are? What, whose dick did you suck? Did you, did you do the finger in the ass while you're sucking it? Because I don't know how you got where you are, quite frankly, sir. Like, I don't, he represented a band or something once upon a time. But he can't sing. He can't dance. Shut up. You shouldn't be You shouldn't be on that show. At least I understood while Paul Abdul was on, what was it? America's Got Talent. America's Next Top Singer fucking idol or whatever it is. There's so many. I understand that with her Xanax ass because at least she could dance and sing. Did you see her at that award show recently? Holy shit. The woman's like, what? Damn near 55 or something like that. She's putting the young ones to shame. You know, God bless her. I understand that Randy Jackson who used to sit around and eat McDonald's with Michael Jackson or other famous people and he could play an instrument. Okay. Music there. What is this? Wait, what's he doing here? And then remember that started the curse of an angry British guy in every show yelling at us. Every show. We had that, that that evil bitch from um, you are not the we you're the weakest link. Remember she would sit there like with her Darth Vader out there. Like, you're the weakest link. Goodbye. Did you think that was a good answer? Like all of a sudden we had a wave of imports of British people. And I don't care. I love British people. Love sexy monkey. Love jewels. Love everybody like that. But I don't want them yelling at me. But how would they feel? I mean, what do we send a bunch of Americans over just to be one single American judge in every British talk show just to yell at you? I thought that was crap. Yeah, I hated it. I hated everything about it. Not seriously, it sucked. You know what? You're not even that good. Gabriel, what the fuck is this Yankee doing? I, I mean, come on. But as far as Gabriel Union because of a toxic workplace, I think what happened is maybe Simon Cowell hit on her. I don't know. Allegedly, I have no idea. Maybe she said no because we know Simon Cowell likes uh, what's not his, like his best friend's wife. Yeah, he got his best friend's wife knocked up. That's how he has his little, you know, demon offspring now. We know that he's run people out of the job that he said initially were good for the job. Howard Stern had the job, though why he wanted it, I don't know, fucking, I don't know why anybody wants that job. It's a fucking embarrassment, quite frankly. But apparently, when those Sony emails were leaked around the time that the, what was that movie came out? The, the Korean movie with Seth Rogen, whatever, The Dictator or something like that came out. When that came out, a bunch of you know uh, Sony emails were hacked, found out that Simon Cowell was actively campaigning to get Stern off there while telling him to his face that he wasn't. So he's a dick. He's a treacherous dick. We already know that. So I think something happened there. As far as, you know, a toxic workplace and everything, I totally support her and understand her being pissed that she was let go, especially with the stuff about her hair. Absolutely uncalled for. Absolutely ridiculous. The jokes, you need to get a sense of humor. I'm sorry. I, that's how I feel about it. The jokes, you need to get a sense of Come on. If I hear a joke about a white person or a black person, it doesn't matter as long as it's a fucking joke. Now, if that's all the jokes you ever tell, if it's always like, you know, just about the blacks or just, just about Hispanics, and I'm like, where's the white jokes? Where's the blonde girl jokes? Where's everything else? Then you might be a racist. Then you might, then I might start thinking some, some type of way about you. But no, I mean, it's fucking, these people cry too much. And by the way, she must have gotten paid like $50,000 or probably $100,000 for every episode she did. Don't cry about getting fired. You know what you cry about getting fired? People who just got, I know somebody who just got let go by the board of directors for the holiday. They don't have shit. What these celebrities kill me? It's like, I, have a, I have a bad workplace, and Jay Leno said a bad joke, and I just you know I want to make a movement or something. Go make another movie and shut up. Nobody can. We don't relate to you. We don't relate to you at all. So stop the bullshit. You have a big house. You are gonna have a Christmas. You're gonna have gifts that are probably really really expensive and good. What is your problem? So what? You got fired. <laughs> so who cares? 
Yes, is wronger than what they did if it was just that shit. And if there's something else I don't know, then I'll take it back. But Jesus Christ, these celebrities fucking, they just get me. So Gabrielle Union, I half agree with her, half think it's kind of silly. Well, basically, I think it's kind of silly anyway. But if there's something I don't know, I'll eat some shit and I'll backtrack on it. But, and I'm sure there is. But if it's just basically a toxic work environment, Silent Cow being a dick, well, did you ever see the show? He's a dick. If it's just, you know, somebody said an off-color joke, it's called life. You're not going to like everything you hear. Sorry, sweetheart. You'd have to just move on. Uh, if it's just pure, straight up, if you've got a lot of those notes, your hair, if it was more, if it was like somebody was saying, like, she's too black or like we don't want an extra black girl on here, that's completely different. She needs to come out and say exactly what it is. She's not. I don't know if she has some, some kind of like, uh, where, you know, where she can't talk about it or something like that, some agreement that she had to sign. I don't know. But where I stand right now, 50-50 with Gabrielle Union Lieben, uh, EGT, is that what they call it? Who's on there now? I thought it was like Scary Spice and the, the anorexic model and the germphobe and the Brit. Like, I, who's uh, who's on there? Wasn't Sharon Osbourne on there too? What the, I, I, you know what? We don't care about that show. That's what advertisers need to get through their head. We're not watching. There is nobody that I know watching. Not one fucking person watching. Nobody cares about that show. Everybody's on Netflix or YouTube now. We don't, nobody watches TV. So yeah, Gabrielle Union, mm, okay. 